What's up, beautiful beings? My name is Shade, and we are going to dive right into this full moon lunar eclipse energy that we are having on May 15th slash 16th, depending on where you're located. Now, I don't know about you, but this eclipse energy has been heavy, okay? Two weeks ago, or the ending of April, we've had the new moon solar eclipse that was all in Taurus energy, all about values, resources, self-worth, as well as relationships and partnership. Now we're diving into the lunar eclipse in the sign of Scorpio. So if you haven't watched my eclipse video before, go ahead and watch that. But a lunar eclipse in this instance is when the sun and the moon are in two opposite signs. And what makes it an eclipse is the collective north node in the specific sign. So right now we're dealing with the collective north node in the sign of Taurus and the collective south node in the sign of Scorpio. That's why we have a lunar eclipse coming up, which is just a full moon, but with heightened, heightened energy. So let's go ahead and break down Scorpio. Scorpio at its highest vibration is one of my favorite signs and it is about power. It is about psychological power. It is about deep intimacy and it is about occult sciences. So studying the spiritual world, understanding the psychologies of human beings and building wealth through partnership. Scorpio at its lowest vibration is about addictions, obsession, secrets, and psychological trauma. So right now, dealing with this lunar eclipse in Taurus and Scorpio, what makes this eclipse so challenging is that they're both fixed signs. And I don't know if you know any Taurus people, okay? Taurus is probably one of the fixed signs in the zodiac, them and Leo, okay? It is very hard for this energy to deal and adapt with change. Now, even though Scorpio is also a fixed sign, please don't mind my cat, she's wild. Even though Scorpio is also a fixed sign, Scorpio is the initiator of transformation, being that Scorpio's, the energy is the only sign that can die and from its own ashes be rebirthed into something new. So the beautiful thing now about this eclipse is we can really take something that is no longer serving us, let go of our fear, right? Because Scorpio rules psychological trauma. So whatever fear or whatever thoughts that we have had about this object or this, this thing in our life that we've been holding on to, we need to let it go with this lunar eclipse, whether that be in relationships, whether that be pertaining to your resources, because again, Taurus rules finances, jobs, anything. Okay, Scorpio is saying in this lunar eclipse, what you might have valued in the past, because Taurus rules values and belief systems, is no longer serving you in this present moment. And if you do not let it go, it is going to be significantly detrimental to your physical, mental, or spiritual health. Whenever we're dealing with Scorpio, the worst thing you can do is not adapt to the change that is needed in that moment because Scorpio is saying, I need to rip the rose colored glasses off of your eyes so that you can see that this is no longer serving you and you have to let go and move forward. So in this lunar eclipse energy, we will be feeling this for the next six months because we also have Scorpio season where we're gonna end out that full North Node in Taurus and Scorpio eclipse energy. So a lot to work with here, a lot of journaling, a lot of reflection. One thing I love about Scorpio, Scorpio does not leave anything off the table. So this full moon is gonna highlight all of the blind spots right and the things that we might not have been aware of it's gonna highlight that bring it to the surface and with scorpio it's like listen i'm not here to sugarcoat it for you or to make you feel comfortable you have to deal with this issue or the issue will take over you and scorpio ruling psychological trauma it will impact you on a psychological level which is sometimes harder than on a physical level so really really a lot of work with this eclipse energy again the best thing that you can do with eclipses is just surrender and allow the change to take place and trust that you are being pivoted on your course because that's really what an eclipse is doing it's do it's a 180 turn course correction of like no you're actually supposed to be here and you no longer need to be in this location or this situation any longer so all of my people who have Taurus and Scorpio in their charts, I feel you. I'm a Taurus rising. It's a lot. It's heavy. But 
This year is very powerful in terms of change, transformation, and building the resources that we feel worthy of and living the life that we want and being in our power because Scorpio is about personal power. All right, feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions about this eclipse. If you need further information on how this eclipse is going to affect you personally, depending on your rising sign, feel free to reach out to me and we can go ahead and chat that out. All right, peace, y'all.